uh, right, yeah, went collectible hunting uh, on Sunday. Uh, went to a comic mart. Uh, I love comic marts, lots of stuff there. And uh, it was an interesting day. Ended up buying quite a lot of Star Wars stuff, actually, really cheap off this guy at the store. You know, and uh, I got some other bits. I ain't opened any of it yet, so I got some of the figures. These are not Star Wars. I ended up picking up a Teen Titans ship, about this big, with a full set of figures. Uh, so we've got Robin. I like these figures. You know, Robin again. Raven. You know, they've got that sort of manga, sort of cute look to them. Cyborg. It's quite big him, actually. Uh, Starfire. Chameleon Boy. No, Beast Boy. It's said it's, I've not really watched, I've not seen this Teen Titans cartoon. No, this is from a cartoon, so there you go. If you'd let me know who that is, we'll be grateful. So I ended up buying them, right? So. Right. I ended up with all this lot here. I got all of this in here. Paid 45 quid for the lot. Right, so. We're gonna get it out. I did get Equalizer Agents. Uh, I got some other DVDs, but there's no point showing them. Sure but I did get Equalizer, and you can't get uh, the other seasons in this country. So I ended up buying uh, Equalizer, you know, American version. So I've got that. I've uh, been watching that, I've seen it in years, really enjoyed it. So there we go, right. Ended up picking up Side Clock, X Men. Figure, very nice. Open it up. As you can see, uh, there's a uh, sort of a brief history on the box. That's the figure. I don't think I'm going to get it out. I'm going to stick this on the wall. I think, I know it's not worth a lot of money, but I like it. It's nice, you know, so it'll go with the collection. Put that down there. So, I got this. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi with lights and sounds. You know, I don't know if we're going to get these out. Uh, you know, so it should be interesting. As you can see, this is from Attack of the Clones. So I say, eight, 12 inches or something. Uh, I don't know, if, I really don't know if we're going to get them out. I know they're not worth a lot of money, these. Uh, but I might trade them off with somebody because people want stuff. Uh, ended up getting a Power of the Force, Star Wars, and Solo. Uh, when they're on Endor, they're going to plant the magnetic detractors to blow the reactor up for the shield projector. So, as you can see. Right. So it's not a bad figure, I mean like, well it's likeness it really, you know, like it. Uh, I'm going to get this one out I think, I'm going to put this on the shelf, I quite like this uh, Django Fett, I think it's just got all the armour and stuff, so we've got Django Fett here, as you can see, get the helmet and the guns, his electric, his speaks, uh, as you can see. Hey, you know, you can't stop me, you're not going to take me. Uh, backpack thrusters light like up, missile firing backpack, motion battle sounds. So that, that's the back of it, but I think I'm going to get this one out. I don't know, I think it's because it's got an helmet and I can, you know, I've got some stands up, so I'm going to put him on there, you know. So I think the detail on his face is really good. So it's Django. Right. I am going to go, I'll do these now. Whoops. Uh, right. Uh, ended up getting the uh, Teen Titans ship. Obviously from the cartoon series, but they all go and they all sit in, in parts of it. I've not really looked at this, but let's have a look. Right, it opens up like that. Well, I paid net a couple of quid for this, so, you know, I did quite like it. The guy was selling it on the stall, 
I think after all the figures, you know, like it with a full set, surely. He fires them out, makes noises to fan batteries. I don't know that too much. I'm not really into the cartoon series. I'm a big fan of the old Justice League cartoon series. You know, for me, that's probably the best cartoon series ever made. Batman animated from the 90s. Uh, so there you go, I'll put that down. I mean, it is. I mean, come on, a couple of quid for that. You can't really complain. So I'll put that on here. With the figures. I might put it on a shelf and have the figures stood round it. You know, posing. It'd be good if we some villains, you know what I mean? So, but I've got a favourite in here. Uh, it's not a standard Yoda. Sack of the clones, you get a chair for him. I do like the chair. I think I'm going to take him out actually and set him in the chair. But he's bits in with all the action figures. I think I'm going to get this one out and put him on the shelf because he sits on the front and it's quite good. He's not electric or all like that. It's just a bit of stuff on the back of that Yoda and the, the Republican stuff. But that's because of the chair. So this one I'm going to get out. So I got that. Now, Ended up getting two, I've got a couple of graphic novels, I've got Kick-Ass, picked up cheap, I've got Kick-Ass two, so I've got Kick-Ass one graphic novel. Uh, X-Men X-Nation with a Submariner when I joined the X-Men, which is interesting. And I've got some DVDs and a couple of Blu-rays, you know what I mean. But this is my favourite, is this, and I'm in two minds about getting that out. I really, part of me wants to get this out, but I love the box it's in. Uh, this is from the Star Wars Unleashed collection. You know, as you can see, there's Vader. Uh, I think I, I, you see, I've not really collected Star Wars. I am. I like Star Wars. I mean, I've got. I actually have Stormtrooper armor, actually. But and I've got two. I've got two Jedi. I've got Sith and the Jedi outfit. But I'm not one for like filling the house. I'm more of a Trekkie than Star Wars. But as you can see, you've got all that on here. You've got the Imperial logo at the top of the box. Underneath, so it's made by usual stuff. But there he is. You can't really see him actually, because even with lighting. But it says on back, for the most of uh, almost half I don't know. It's just his usual stuff. His powerful design jet. Uh, Artist in tip sculptures capture the most stories, compelling style or character in the most electrifying moments in the room. It's just a description. But I mean, I like the container thing. And should it come out? Let me know if you think it should come out. If I get a like, a lot of people say get him out or should I keep him in here? I mean, I just put him on the shelf, put stuff on top. Do you know what I mean? But that is, this is my favourite one out I bought on Sunday. So that's it really, that's, that's everything I sort of bought uh, on Sunday at the Comic Mart. Eight in a car book, Saturday. Uh, should be interesting what I pick up down there. You know, eventually I'm going to have no room in, where, in my new house. Uh, I'm going to be swapped in with stuff. But what I do is I get a surplus and then I just start swapping it or getting rid of it, you know, for other stuff what I'm after. So please subscribe to my channels. Uh, this is my uh, collectible toy hunting video of what he scored this week and you know hopefully I'll get some more stuff what I'll pick up uh, so that's it you know be great to see you on the channel let me know what you think and uh, I'll answer all queries so see you then live live long and prosper uh, I may do a video on that Darth Vader, Star Wars Unleashed I know it's a few years old but I'm tempted to do a video on that but I don't know if I want to open it like I said so I'll see you on the next one.